This one, I promise, is going to be very quick. If you have understood how we added the access log overlay to the CN is equal to config branch, making the whole modification dynamic, which didn't require a restart of the OpenLDAP server, we're going to do the same thing for the audit log as well. When we started this section, in the first segment, we added the audit log overlay to the FedG uh, DC is equal to com database. But on that occasion, we had to restart the uh, OpenLDAP server because we modified the slapd.conf file. Let me just quickly show you that this is what we added in the previous segment. Now this time around, what I'll be doing is to add one more branch to the uh, to the OLC database, which is actually going to be the audit log overlay. That's the only thing we're going to do on this video. And for that reason, it is going to be extremely quick. So that's the audit log overlay. So all I'm going to do is to run the LDAP modify command again on the CN is equal to config branch, creating a new entry, which is the audit log overlay. Uh, under the one BDB OLC database, which happens to be the DC is equal to FedG, comma DC is equal to com. And then I define the object classes and the attributes specific to the object classes. So let me just go back to my machine, run the LDAP modify command. Uh, before I do that, maybe uh, just for your reference, uh, let's look at the uh, Look at the configuration, CN is equal to config branch to understand that secret. Um, the base branch of CN is equal to config and maybe object class is equal to star. Just to help you recollect the overlay that we added, the portion that I'm highlighting here on the terminal is basically the overlay. You're going to see something very close uh, to the access log entry here. Some of the differences you would observe would be the audit log here and rest of the information would be the same because I want to plug in that audit log under this database only. Uh, this object class is going to stay as it is. Uh, this object class is going to say OLC audit log. Then I would specify OLC overlay to be audit log. I do not have a DB uh, because I don't, uh, I don't send the audit logs to a database. I send it to a file. So I might have a different attribute or different attribute that will help us represent the log file location of the audit log. You remember the log file location we mentioned in the sl8pd.conf file in the first uh, segment of this section, but this time we're going to specify the uh, audit file as an attribute for this LDAP modify command. So we can keep that information as a reference here. We run the command LDAP modify minus D. Uh, we have to authenticate ourselves as CN is equal to admin, CN is equal to config. Remember the password to be secret with a E. What do I do? I am going to add. What am I going to add? Oil C overlay is what I want to add. And this time I'm adding audit log. I'm referring to the section here just to help you understand what I'm trying to achieve here. Oil C database. On which database are we creating the audit log? Maybe uh, one BDB CN is equal to config. So you remember the branch. That's the D and distinguished name navigate from that particular entry all the way back to the suffix and we get the DM. Now what are you trying to achieve here? I'm trying to add uh, the entry here. So that's why the change type is add. Now what are the object classes? Object class, the first one of course is OLC overlay config. Then I have object class OLC audit log config. Now that's one of the differences you would observe here. Earlier we used an access log config. Now it is OLC audit log config. Object class is OLC audit log config. And the next of course is OLC overlay. What is it? It is audit log. That's the attribute. And then finally OLC audit file. What is the file? that I am planning to use for generating this audit log. So this time around, I'll say TMP OLC audit uh, dot LDIF. I mean, it could be any name of your choice, but I've decided to use TMP OLC audit dot LDIF. Let me hit enter twice. If everything is fine, it should go through quite fine. Okay, uh, spelling mistake. Wonderful. I mean, this gives us an opportunity to learn it quite well. So DN colon OLC overlay is equal to audit log. OLC database uh, is equal to 
BDB. That's where I want to add it. CN is equal to config. Uh, change type, of course, is add. I want to add this entry into the LDAP server. Object class. This is where I made a mistake last time, breaking my promise of completing this fast. Uh, OLC overlay uh, config. And then object class. So OLC audit log config oil c overlay yeah that's where i made the mistake audit log and then oil c audit file i want tmp oil c audit dot i hope i'm not careless those of you are watching if you if you have spotted a mistake i'm sure you're going to curse me for that okay again a problem there oil c audit file is is undefined so isn't that the correct one let me just have a look here okay i think that one is wrong the attribute is wrong i'm sorry this i hope is the last time i'm going to do this audit log olc database is one bdb cn is equal to config of course i could put this in a file and then use that in the LDAP modify command using the minus F option that turns out to be a simpler way of doing it but I think the more I show you the steps the more it gets engraved into your memory so that's the only reason why I keep repeating this again uh, again and again in spite of the fact that easier way to do this probably is to add this into a file so config object class is OLC audit log config oil c overlay uh, is audit log in fact it's oil c audit log file that's the name of the attribute tmp oil c audit dot ldf so let's run this and see okay that got added finally the third attempt it went through quite fine so now that we have added the audit log uh, overlay onto the database dc is equal to fit g comma dc is equal to com let's first verify whether this has taken effect or not we can run the command ldap search and verify whether the overlay has come in so the audit log overlay is now uh, for the database 1bdb which means an operation a modification operation performed on the dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com, com is going to be filed under the audit log there let's first find out if there is a file by the name oilc uh, audit dot ldif it, it doesn't exist let me try that again for you doesn't exist i mean uh, we know that because uh, there has not been any operation on the dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com uh, which uh, uh, which was filed to the audit log so let's do some modification on the entries in the audit uh, entries in the dc is equal to fedg comma dc is equal to com and see if this file comes up so we the, do the LDAP uh, modify minus DCN is equal to manager DC is equal to fit G comma DC is equal to com minus W secret and then let's uh, say DN CN is equal to Sam Carter you would remember Sam Carter to be a part of finance under DC is equal to fit G comma DC is equal to com change type of course we will play around with the same old attribute we, we have been changing replace the telephone number and the telephone number uh, let's use uh, 914842557423 hit enter twice the entry is modified let's look at the file command and see if this file exists of course it exists let's have a look at uh, the file and see if the so there you can see the the, the entire operation of what we did we modified uh, Sam Carter we modified the telephone number of Sam Carter uh, who modified it all of that details are there in the audit log so our idea of plugging in the audit log overlay on the fly by using the online configuration under the CN is equal to config branch worked out quite fine so here is what we have done in the last few segments in the first segment we used an overlay and we know what an overlay is something the software component that is sandwiched between the front end and the back end of the SLAPD the first overlay that we used was the audit log overlay but when we used it for the first time we modified the SLAPD.conf file which required a server restart 
unacceptable uh, in the circumstances where we deal with uh, uh, uptime of 99.999 percentage etc then we discussed about oil c which is cn is equal to config suffix uh, for that we modified uh, the slapd.conf to create cn is equal to config and then we viewed the cn is equal to config by using the ldap search command we were able to see the databases under that we created a new database called cn is equal to log and that was used to log the access uh, information onto the dc is equal to fed g comma dc is equal to com so in the last uh, third segment we configured access log overlay onto the database and that was also done dynamically we need we we, we didn't have to restart the open ldap server and then finally in this segment we plugged in an audit log on uh, uh, audit log overlay also um, on the fly that means we didn't have to do a restart and things seems to work just fine we have a problem though before we stop this segment i want to show you something you have uh, ldap search command i'm running the ldap search command now have a look at this have a look at the access log have a look at the audit log have a look at the database that we created which is cn is equal to log you would remember all of these three operations were done on the fly without a restart we modified this entry by using the ldap modify command let me show you the command one more time pay close attention to the command here i'm doing a search operation on the cn is equal to config branch and i'm getting all the entries there and i hope you would agree that the last three entries you get to see there is actually uh, something that we added on the fly in the last three segments. I'm going to do something very, very nasty now. SVC ADM restart LDAP slash server. And now let me do a search. By the way, my second database is gone. My access log overlay is gone. My audit log overlay is gone which means all the hard work that we have done in the last 60 minutes or so have gone absolute waste. We will see in the next segment what could be done to make sure that these changes persist across the server reboot. I'll see you in the next segment and don't miss that please.